Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Your heart bleed for the lost souls of humanity. Your heart bleed for the lost souls of humanity. Father, your heart bleed for the lost souls of humanity. Ah. the vine, the true vine. This is a scripture in John chapter 15 from the verse number 1. Say, I am the vine. I am the true vine. And my father is the husband man. Every branch of me that bearing not fruit, he take it away. Every branch that bearing fruit, he purge it that he may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as in the very branch. Oh, abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bring the fruit, much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and he is wilted. And men gather them, cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Aya. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, na, 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 na. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye much bear fruit. Say, herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. For I am the vine, you are the branches. He that does not bear fruit shall be pruned, caught away, purged. All right. All right. This is very, this is something serious. Look at this. The Lord says that, Hearing is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. So God is glorified. God is glorified when we bear much fruit. When we bear fruit, when we are fruit bearers, that's how God glorified. And that's why it takes souls to enter heaven for heaven to rejoice. It takes souls to enter heaven for heaven to do what to rejoice. So what brings joy to heaven? What brings joy to heaven is the entrance of souls into heaven. So assemblies and churches and pastors and leaders and members of the congregation all call themselves, we call ourselves Christians and we say we are disciples of Christ and we are not bearing fruits. In terms of soul winning, God is not being glorified. God is not being glorified. God is not taking joy in that. And then there's another fruit called the fruit of the Spirit. And if we don't bear those fruit of the Spirit also, God is not being glorified. Because there are two fruits. The, the, the fruits of the Spirit, that is the holiness that takes to heaven. And then the service we offer to God is the other fruit we win souls. Winning souls, that is other fruit we bear. So in our service, we got to bear fruits. In our lifestyle, we got to do what? Bear fruits unto holiness that takes men to heaven. So that is the balance. So at the end of it all, in conclusion, a fruitful or a blessed or a complete assembly is an assembly that is living for Christ in holiness, ready for heaven. And also, if they are ready for heaven, then they will do their master's hard cry. 
which is go out for souls. They will give their master their food. Yes. So, if we are Christians and we are doing any of this, we are not focusing on the fruit of the Spirit as an assembly and not focusing on so many, then we are men of all wasting our time. Very easy. The gospel is not complicated. That's it. And to know false prophet and false assembly is not complicated. May God bless us.